we're going to start building dynamic data structures. And the first one we're going to do is a linked list. And this does start in chapter three, but this is the tail end of chapter three. So what I did is I created a new project called chapter four. I made a Maven project. And so I had to intentionally build the uh, chapter four Java file. And I wrote public static void main in here and just printed out chapter four is great, just so it does something. And when you hit run, you need to choose the main class. There we go. Uh, if your main class is not listed here, you may have typed it in wrong, uh, or you didn't hit save. And I'm gonna hit permanently because if I close NetBeans and reopen it later, I want to hit run and run this public static void main method. And it runs and gives you some output eventually. Chapter four is great, there we go. I like to put some extra spaces around because there's so much extra stuff that gets printed out here, especially above. So I'm gonna print out a bunch of new lines. And I'll print some new lines after. You can see my shortcuts in the lower right corner of the screen there. It's control shift up and down and alt shift up and down. And now we'll run and it'll just space it out nice. Okay, so we got our chapter four working. I want to use this list node class right here. So I'm gonna copy all this. And of course we need to make a Java file called list node. So I'm putting it right in the same package chapter four is in. So we're gonna make a new Java class list node and if you're wondering how this was so clean watch the video on how to modify that template all right in here notice we already have public class list node with the brackets so i'm really just going to copy what's inside the brackets whenever you're copying and pasting code you want to be careful this code is tabbed nicely is indented nicely right here so i can see that Two string ends right here and this final closing brace matches the one at the top because of indentation. So once I start to select, I need to go down to this closing brace right here, copy, I'm gonna paste it inside. And you can always highlight all and format and everything is spaced out nicely. Okay, I wanna call this node, not list node, because we're gonna use nodes for different things and just list nodes too much for me to type in. So you're gonna use nodes a lot. So I'm gonna rename, refactor rename. I'm just gonna call it node. And my two string should reflect that as well. Okay, so what does node do? There's two parts of a node, two pieces of data, there's an object, and there's another node. That's really strange. If you look at the methods, all three of these methods are one type of method. What type is that? They're all public, and what do they return? There's no return value, which means they're a constructor. So we have three constructors, one that takes no arguments, sets both to null, one that takes a data and sets this data equal to data. And you can always see which data, which variable it's referring to by moving the cursor around. So this dot data refers to the data that stays with the node, the field. And data here without this dot refers to the parameter that's coming in. So the temporary value that's coming in. And of course, next was not sent in, so next is gonna be null. And then last one, you send in data and next and set both those values. And we have a two string. If you don't have a two string, you get this default. It'll print the method, the class name and then the memory address, which is generally pretty useless. So this will print out node and then the information in there. Okay, if I run it, it's gonna be the same output because I didn't do anything. Chapter four is still great. This is where computer science gets fun. However, let's do something different. I don't need so many new lines at the very end. 
So I changed the name to node. So as we follow along in the book, just remember wherever you see list node, I used just node. So we could just copy and paste. You can do a find replace, but I think one of the fastest ways to do this, I'm gonna copy node right there, and I'm gonna double click highlights that, and then paste, double click paste, double click paste. Of course you have to do it over here. All right, so that changed it pretty quickly. If you only have to change it maybe you know 10 times or less, you can do that. If you gotta change it 50 times, you better do a find replace. It's always a little dangerous though. All right, so we made three nodes with the data one, two, and three. Very exciting, very exciting. We could print out one of these. Let's sout uh, node one. And then we'll run that. All right, so I printed out node one. So that's what I was expecting to see. Uh, we can link nodes, uh, which we will do in the next video. That's where things start to get fun.